Hi there boys and girls, welcome to lesson 8.4, fraction and whole number division. Our essential question for tonight is how can you divide fractions by solving a related multiplication sentence? Let's get started on lesson 8.4 in your Go Math book. Now let's take a look at question 2. It says 1 fifth divided by 3. That's like saying if you had 1 fifth of a whole and you want to share it with 3 people, what fraction would each person get of that one whole? Now in this model that you see here, I have one-fifth, shaded in pink. Now if I were to divide this one-fifth into three parts, what would then be the answer of one-fifth divided by three? Let's find out by dividing this one-fifth into three parts. So what we'll do is we will divide it into three parts. So do you see how I made the lines go across? So now I have three parts of that one-fifth. Well, one-fifth divided by three would equal one-fifteenth. And I'm going to go ahead and show you right here why. Because if we had one-fifth, one part out of five parts shaded in, and you're cutting it into three parts, well then each one of these parts is now one-fifteenth. So let's go ahead and shade in that 1 15th right here. And this shows that 1 5th divided by 3 would equal 1 15th. And our related multiplication sentence would be 1 5th times 1 3rd because we're finding 1 3rd of our 1 5th part would equal 1 15th. And there's my 1 15th portion. Okay, for question number three, the question says 2 divided by 1 8th. That's like saying if you had two whole pizzas and you want to know how many 1 8th slices would you have, how many would you have? I'm going to go ahead and draw a model to show you how you'd figure that out. You would start, first start out by drawing two holes, and then you want to divide each hole into eighths to know how many eighths would you have. So as you can see here, I made two holes. I divided each hole into one-eighth parts. And so the question says, if I had two divided by one-eighth, how many one-eighths would I have? You can see right here that we have eight one-eighths and another eight one-eighths. So our related multiplication sentence would be two times eight would equal 16 because I can have two groups of eight. So I would have 16 one eighth pieces. So for number four, the question says one third divided by four. So we're gonna look at what is one third of a whole divided into four parts. It would look like this model. We would have one third, just like this picture, and then we're going to divide this one third into four parts. I'm gonna do my best and draw three lines going across to show four different parts. So do you see how we had this one third and we're dividing it into four parts? One, two, three, four. Now out of this whole, one third divided by four would equal how much? What is one part of that? It would be one out of 12, because you can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So let's go ahead and shade in one of those parts. So again, you can see 1 third, which is right here, out of three parts. We're dividing that 1 third into four parts. What's the value of each one of these parts? You would have 1 twelfth. Now my question says write a related multiplication sentence to solve. So we're trying to find one-fourth of my one-third. Do you see how we have this is going to be one-fourth of my one-third part? So it would be one-third times one-fourth because we're finding one-fourth of my one-third. And of course each one of those parts would be worth one-twelfth. For number five is very similar to number three. What we're gonna do here is we're going to think about it like this. If I have five holes divided by one fourth, think of it like this. If I had five pieces of cake and I want to know how many one fourth pieces are in five holes. 
Well, all you have to do is draw a model of five holes and cut each hole into fourths. So let's go ahead and do that. So here are my five holes. If I were to cut each of my holes into fourths, how many one-fourth pieces would I have? Because you're dividing each of your five holes into fourths, you would have how many one-fourths? Let's count them up. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So 5 divided by 1 fourth is going to be 20. Our related multiplication sentence for this would be 5 times 4. Because we have 4 in each one of our holes, we have 4 1 fourths, and so we would have 20 as our answer. So for number 6, we have 1 half divided by 2. Here's my model. So here's my model of one half. Now if I wanted to divide my one half into two parts, we would just make a horizontal line going across the middle of it. So I'm going to do that. So now our, my question says one half divided by two would equal how many parts? So if I had a half of a pizza and I divided it into two parts, how many parts will each person get? person should get one-fourth because as you can see here I divided my one-half into two parts just like it says here so this would be the amount that each person would get one-fourth. My related multiplication sentence for this could be one-half times one-half because you just cut your one-half into half is going to equal one-fourth. Remember how I told you that this really, two holes is written like that as a fraction. If you flip your division sign into a multiplication, you can flip your one, your two holes into one half. You just switch the numerator and denominator around. And so this is going to be your multiplication sentence that is related. So one half of a half equals one fourth. And of course it would be shaded like this which shows you one-fourth. So a half of a half equals one-fourth. So for number seven, it says one-fourth divided by six. So you're going to have one-fourth of one whole, and you're going to divide that one-fourth of a whole into six parts. Go ahead, and I want you to pause the video and write your related multiplication sentence that you think it would be to see if you have one-fourth of something, of one whole, and you're going to divide it into six parts. How much would each part be? Go ahead and press pause now. So here's my model of one-fourth, and I want to divide this one-fourth into six parts. So if we were to divide one-fourth into six parts, how much would each part be? One-fourth divided into six, what would that be? You should say that one-fourth divided by six equals one twenty-fourth. Our related multiplication sentence for this would be one-fourth times one-six, because this is one-six of one-fourth. So one-fourth times one-six would equal one-twenty-fourth. That's my related multiplication problem. Remember, you just change your division sign to a multiplying sign, change your six holes into one-six. So let's take a look at number eight together. We're starting out with six holes, and we want to know how many one-fifth pieces are in six holes. So our equation is six divided by one-fifth. Now on a model, it would look like this. So we want to know if we have six holes, and we want to know how many one-fifth pieces are in six holes, well, what would be our multiplication problem? If I see six holes, and I want to times each hole by five because there's five parts in each of my six holes, I would have 30 one-fifth parts because we have one-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, five-fifths. And if you keep going, you're going to have 30 one-fifths. So six divided by one-fifth equals 30 it, because there's 30 pieces that are one-fifth size. Remember, my related multiplication sentence is going to be six holes times five parts in each of my six holes would equal 30 parts. And each of my parts has a value of one-fifth. 
Okay, so let's take a look at number 13. It says, Isaac has a piece of rope that is five yards long. Into how many one half yard pieces of rope can Isaac cut the rope? Go ahead, pause this video, and I want you to answer what you think that answer would be. Okay, for this one, here's my model. I have a rope that is five yards long, one yard, two yard, three yard, four yards, five yards. Now, if I wanna cut each one of these yards into one half yard pieces, then we can figure out how many pieces of rope he has. I'm just gonna cut each one of these in half. I'm gonna take a different color so you can see. Now that I cut each one of my five yard pieces into half, now you can see how many pieces of rope that we have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now my related multiplication sentence for this one started out as this division problem. Five divided by one half equals, we'll have ten parts. Now here's my related multiplication sentence. Five yards. We're cutting each one into two parts because we're cutting it in half. And here's my related multiplication sentence. You're going to have 10 half yard pieces of rope. Now let's read number 14 carefully so you know how to set this problem up. It says, two friends share one half of a pineapple equally. What fraction of a whole pineapple does each friend get? Now my clue words equally and share tell me we're dividing. So how is this division problem going to be set up? First of all, let's think about our hole that we have. We have a pineapple. Now, right now, the pineapple, they only have a half that they're sharing. So our equation is going to be one half of a pineapple, but we're going to share it among how many friends? We're sharing it with two friends. So our equation is one half divided by two would equal what? What fraction of a whole pineapple does each friend get? I want you to go ahead and figure out what you think this answer would be and what would be your related multiplication problem to figure this one out. Go ahead and press pause now. Okay, here's an example of what my pineapple would look like. We have a half of a pineapple right here and we're gonna share it among two friends. So I'm just going to divide it in half. Right down the middle horizontally and now if we had one half divided into two parts, what fraction of the whole would each friend get? Well, one friend would get this fraction and the other friend would get that fraction. So each of those fractions would be one fourth of a whole. Now our division problem is one half divided by two is one fourth, but our related multiplication problem would be one half times one half because you're cutting each in half each one will get one fourth. Remember, you can change that to a multiplication sign and flip your two holes into one half by changing your numerator and denominator. And the shading would look like this to show the quotient. All right, I want you to do numbers one and two on the back side for you to show how you understand what we've done in this lesson so far. And then I want you to do questions three through six for review of previous material. Somewhere on your page, please put down either one for novice, two for apprentice, three for practitioner, or four for expert if you really understand this. We will check these in class tomorrow, so please make sure that you have your Go Math book ready and available so we can get started. Have a great night. Bye-bye.